Hello guys. So, due to the massive wave of new players to Battlefield 4 due to the Battlefield 2042 hype, I thought I would give you my top 5 plus tips for Battlefield 4 and kind of things that might help you out as a new or returning player. So first of all, I'm going to go straight into it. Um, you'll want to make your minimap bigger. Uh, the minimap is one of the most important tools in Battlefield 4. Like, it's actually crazy how much information you can get from the BF4 map. So I set mine to around 150 to 175%. And then whenever someone shoots on the, like, within your range, you will see them come up as a orange triangle and the direction they're facing. You can almost play BF4 entirely through the minimap, trust me. And then another thing I want to suggest regarding spotting and the minimap is as you're running around, just be pressing the spot button in places as you look around. As you're just like, you know, scanning the map, just be pressing the spot button constantly because you can just randomly spot people like 500 meters away and it gives you an advantage. And if people are hiding in bushes and stuff, you just want to constantly spot the bushes just in case there's someone hiding in them. So my next tip is regarding moving and shooting uh, in Battlefield 4. So a lot of people don't know this, but in this game, if you move even left and right whilst aim down sight, your shots are way more inaccurate than you think. So look, I'll aim at this guy's chest and my shot completely misses, even though I'm perfectly on the target. So we'll do it again. Completely misses. So in order to actually be 100% accurate while sniping, at least, you have to be moving a little bit, stop still, wait for the scope to stop moving, then your shot will be accurate. Let's say I stay scoped in, you scope in, moving left and right, wait for the scope to stop moving, then you can fire. This is like a massive tip for sniping and I think a lot of people are probably super frustrated with it and they're just wondering why they're missing. It's because you're moving, you have to stand completely still, wait half a second and then take the shot. Now as for automatic weapons, at close to medium range you can get away with moving and spraying and praying. But unlike other games, in this game if you hold down the trigger long enough, your shots get more and more inaccurate. So at long ranges, what you want to be doing is three to five bullet bursts, ideally standing still. So three bullets, three bullets, three bullets, three bullets. But if I try and spray at this guy, hold on, let me just reload. If I try and spray at this guy over this range, you see I miss more shots. So it's much better to do the little tap fires when you're fighting people at longer ranges. It makes it much easier to hit targets. And obviously, if you want to throw a bit of movement in there, maybe fire three shots, move, fire three shots, move. You know, it's much better to do that than stand there and just fire 30 rounds and hope that it hits him. I got lucky that time. And then another thing as well is as you're moving and dodging to avoid shots, just throw in a jump every two seconds um, as it just makes you harder to hit. But don't spam it because then it slows you down to a snail's pace. So you have to kind of time your jumps so that you get a jump as often as you can, but not enough to slow you down. Now, as we get into closer range, hip fire is way stronger than you think. So you'd think here in Call of Duty, you'd think this would probably be a bit of a risky hip fire shot. But in this game, this is like a perfect range for hip fire. And what's even more interesting is that secondaries are even better at hip fire than you think as well. So look how slow you are whilst ADS and trying to hit these targets. You're going to be such an easy target. But with my secondaries, I almost never aim down sight because look at what you can do. I can stray full speed and just one shot headshot these guys because they're just, it's just so accurate that you just wouldn't expect it to be. So secondaries almost never aim down sight, even at like long ranges. You can get away with some crazy shots um, because secondaries are just super accurate. As for primaries, obviously, once they get a little bit further away, you're better off aiming down sight, but you can still get away with some pretty insane hip fire kills at close to medium range as well. Now, something to keep in mind about BF4 is that movement is quite limited. So obviously you can jump, you can mantle things, but you're more inaccurate when you're moving. And also there's no like crouch slide or anything like that. So you have to rely more on positioning than your movement. And there's also something called suppression, which you might know about, where if someone's shooting at you and they shoot near you, they'll actually suppress you, which will darken the edges of your screen. And that will mean your shots will literally miss just because someone's shooting near you. 
Uh, and that's why I would suggest that when you're fighting someone and they've got an angle on you and they're holding it, it's actually often better to reposition or find a new angle than it is to constantly repeak or try and challenge that player because they have so many more advantages by being in a better position than you. But yeah, that just about covers the infantry tips, at least for Battlefield 4. Uh, if you have any tips yourself for infantry gameplay in Battlefield 4, then put them down in the comments. And if there's anything you think I was a bit wrong about, just let me know. Um, and yeah, if you want more of these, then just give it a like and make sure to subscribe. And I'll probably do a few more guides on sniping uh, and obviously more gameplay tips if I can get them. Uh, and now, yeah, I'm probably just going to do some sniper gameplay with the CS5 since you got 5,000 likes on the last video. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we got the perfect map for the CS5, which is what I promised I would use in the last video. We got a good server with 250 tickets because a lot of the 64 player rush servers seem to be running the standard rules of like 75 or 100. And that's just nowhere near enough tickets for 64 players. But here we are. But people are probably gonna ask, what do I think about the mechanics in Battlefield 4, such as, um, you know, slow bullet velocity snipers, hey, slow bullet velocity snipers, uh, suppression, and basically inaccuracy whilst moving. Now, I actually like the slow bullet velocity snipers because there's a little bit of a nuance to learning how to snipe in BF4. Um, and I think people realize that after a while. And like, especially like aggressive sniping, um, if you can call it that, you kind of have to, if you shoot second with aggressive sniping in Battlefield 4, you're going to miss because of, um, the, what's it called? Because of suppression. And my thoughts about suppression, I am not a fan. I, I think suppression, or at least the implementation in this game, is really bad. Not as bad as Battlefield 3. Um, if you've played Battlefield 3 and got suppressed, it basically turns your screen into Vaseline. It's really hard to tell that you're suppressed in this game. So you'll just be like standing there. Someone might shoot near you and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm missing my shots. Maybe it's suppression. And then it's the same thing with the moving inaccuracy. No one, no one ever tells you in the tutorials or anything like that, that your shots are going to miss um, simply because you're moving more, you know, it, it's, it's not, it's not necessarily the actual mechanics. It's the fact that the game doesn't tell you that they exist. You're trying to, you have to take like years to work it out well not years but it took me certainly a few a few weeks before i realized what the hell was going on right i don't know if this team is ever going to push out of the spawn but i hope they do otherwise this is going to be a very short game we'll hit that guy assist counts to kill and again with sniping in this game especially if you're going to be close range a lot of your kills are going to be just assists unless you get the headshots if I was on attack, I would be sitting up on that cliff right there, sniping all the guys along there. It's a really nice position. Oh, got him. Okay. I'm, I'm, I think I'm overcompensating because I'm expecting the bullet velocity to be so slow, but it's, it's not that slow. Like, I don't need to be aiming, like, several feet in front of them at this range. But my brain's telling me that. Okay, I'm going to put a motion ball on B. They're making a push on B, which is good. They have to take B first. And then they can hold this ridge and start shooting the guys up on A. That's the best plan of action if you've played Operation Locker Rush before as attack. To be honest, I'm probably going to edit this down because there's going to be a lot of just sitting around and waiting for them to push this objective. So, okay, there you go. They finally took B. Yeah, this is going to be a, a long gap between them pushing this objective and then actually pushing up to A, but... They've finally done the first objective. Yeah, so this is good. This is how it's supposed to go. Now, the question is, is, is 2042 going to have the same mechanics as Battlefield 4? I can throw it a little. Oh, no, I think I put it on the edge. Yeah, so I didn't get it over. Is 2042 going to have the mechanics of Battlefield 4? Or is it going to have the mechanics of Battlefield 5, which are a little bit more lenient? Like, uh, you can move and shoot. You have, like... Snipers, uh, slightly faster bullet velocity. You can move and snipe as well in Battlefield 5. Come on, guys. I believe in you. I believe that you can push this objective. Almost got his head there. 
I can't, again, I can't tell if I'm suppressed or not. I might be. They've smoked it up. They might be pushing down here, look. Because they've smoked it up. Let's see. I'm alive? Oh, my life! They're going to push up the stairs any second now. There we go. Okay. I deserve that. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. Ugh. Someone actually gave me a full revive. That's rare. I really hope they push. I do. I don't want this to end immediately because they never push the first objective. Beautiful headshots though, let's be honest. Again, I'm taking advantage of this 2x scope. There's no scope glint on this, I think. So they won't be able to see that I'm aiming at them. They will see my little laser. Okay, they've armed A. This is actually good. This is I want them to arm A. I want to at least get to the second objective because that's actually where the fun begins. Oh, I should have gone prone. So yeah, as I was saying, suppression sucks. I hope it doesn't come back in 2042. And if they are going to have suppression, I hope that it's very obvious and maybe just a visual effect as opposed to just making your shots miss for no reason. Now, this is where the fun begins. As I said, this is where it gets fun. Come on, bro. Teammate, come on, you just need to shoot him once. Look. Got him. Oh my god. That's as that's as aggressive as you're gonna get. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh god. I thought I got C4 up there. And I'm running away. Again, as a sniper, you know, you're very limited to how aggressive you can be. Because you get suppressed a lot. But th thankfully, the CS5 is actually really good at close range, so it's not so bad. It was all about um, smoke and then um, thermal DMRs. That was like a full meta in this game. Everyone would just use a smoke and then just thermal DMR uh, to their heart's content. Oh, that's, a, that's a no scope. Oh, there you go. Should I get the disarm? There we go, guys. Playing the objective. Look at me go. Certainly didn't take advantage of uh, my team basically throwing themselves at them and dying. Now. Okay, we're going to peek that. Come on, throw a nade at him. I can still get an assist counts kill, I think. Unless they... There it is. Unless they heal. Actually, I think you still get it if they heal. I can't remember. Oh my god. That nade is perfectly on me there. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're all pushing the side. Look, look. Yeah, that's you right. Oh my god, it's kicking off. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, this is painful. Teammate just ran into my shots and ruined it. I can't remember if you can shoot through teammates. I, I genuinely can't remember. I, I just don't have memory of it. Which is why I keep shooting through... Oh, I think if I pulled my deagle out earlier, I might be able to get a couple there. But you see what I mean? If it doesn't go past the first objective, this is where all the fun is. Because they just sit in the spawn. You're basically just spawn sniping. Now, again, this is another really hard push for the attacking team. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't think I, I didn't think so. I shot the wrong guy. I should have shot the guy in front. Do I take this res? Wait for the nade. I'm taking it. Um, you can choose whether you take uh, revives in this game as well, which is a nice feature. Because obviously sometimes you can just get spam revived in a corridor with just grenades going off and it's not so fun. So it's a good idea to do that sometimes. Chuck a nade through that door. Perfect timing for that guy to push. There's a kill. Rocket launcher through the doorway there. I'm going to get blindsided on my right, I think, if I'm not careful. Whoa, my God. Oh, my God. I'm getting incredibly lucky. Because I'm not getting... Oh, there you go. A guy in the doorway there. The top doorway to the right just peaked. No, I can't.
Now, I blow up a C4 there. Maybe I kill someone, but also it acts as a bit of a smoke screen as you're running away. So if you need to run somewhere and you know that you're going to be in line of fire, throw that. Big explosion. They can't see through the smoke. 100 IQ. <laughs> Gameplay. Um, but yeah, the thing with Battlefield 4, at least in Operation Locker, it's quite hard to do. Like, you can't... You can throw UCAVs inside, but, you know, it's not really a thing. Battlefield 4 is one of the most grief-ridden games because it's so easy to use things like UCAVs, mortars, uh, vehicles, just literally dive-bombing vehicles into players. Ooh. Oh, God. Uh, okay, I'm pulling back a little bit. There's like so many ways you can grief players and just other players and streamers and stuff. And that's why that's what makes it so difficult to stream. Because as I mentioned in my previous video, or the one before, you know, the DDoSing is bad. But even if I didn't get DDoSed, um, okay. <laughs> even if I didn't get DDoSed, uh, or the servers didn't get DDoSed, you've still got the element of just grief. So you'll have three players just constantly spamming UCAVs wherever you go. You pre Oh, they've just taken A. Look, look, I don't think they know. Okay, good. My team was there as well. But um, you could just you could basically just farm a player and just keep them dead 24-7 with like three UCAVs. Uh, which is what happens. So when a, when a big streamer goes on the server, they probably get killed by UCAVs a lot because the players can just fly a plane across the map. And just instantly delete you. Right. No one knows about this. And that's why no one's done it. I'm just opening the door up. Look. And then you can shoot people from that little angle. We love that. I don't think they're going to push this objective though. I think we've got this. But yeah, there's a lot of issues with streaming Battlefield 4. Apart from the server issues. Um, like you, you're always guaranteed to get griefed at some point. Even the small streamers. So I would love to go back and stream it. And people say, oh, they'll probably say, oh, get your own server. And it's just like, yeah, but you're just putting a target on your back, basically. I'm in trouble. I need healing. And I'm not close enough. I am close enough to the healing. I'm suppressed. This is, suppression also stops healing, by the way, if you didn't know. That's why I'm right next to this health box. And it's only just started healing me. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're going to push this. But this was still a nice game that I will probably include in the video because aggressive sniping with the CS5, kind of. I was quite defensive still. I was still quite defensive. But that's how that's how sniping is in Battlefield 4. Again, you, you know, you can't be super aggressive. It's just the way it is. It was decent. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed... The CS5 gameplay, slowest sniper in Battlefield 4. And uh, let me know what sniper you want to use me, me to use next. I don't think there's a worse sniper apart from the Mare's Leg. I'm not going to do the Mare's Leg yet. But, yeah. Just let me know what sniper you want me to use next. And what other, like, uh, questions you have about Battlefield 4. And I'll try to get to them. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like if you liked. And subscribe for Battlefield 4 in 2021? Why not?